Hello everyone, uh, my name is Kingsley Idoko and I want to welcome you to this video on uh, uh, a demo of how you can set up your own uh, Kubernetes cluster in your local environment or in your local computer. Um, yeah, so in this video we're going to be using Minikube. Minikube is like uh, I think one of the most popular way you can have this kind of uh, implementation where you can, you know, actually have a Kubernetes cluster running on your uh, local computer, uh, like in the uh, development uh, environment. So as you can see, I have um, a virtual machine running. Uh, this is the environment where we are going to be doing this demo. Uh, I have a CentOS, uh, as a CentOS 8. Um, uh, set up as a virtual machine in this VMware workstation. Um, in terms of the you know resource uh, uh, that we'll be using, uh, in this case, uh, as you can see, I'm using uh, four processor CPUs and uh, about 15 gigabit of RAM. Well, you don't really need uh, uh, all that uh, resource. Uh, I think if you check the documentation, uh, the minimal requirement is. Uh, two CPU minimal and then two gigabit of RAM and of course uh, uh, your disk size should be at least 20 gig to have to be able to set up a mini cube in uh, in your environment so yeah so this CentOS is really um, a fresh installation um, not really a fresh installation but I like had a snapshot and I rolled back to the snapshots which is like uh, the fresh install um, so there's really nothing running here as you can see so I already did some uh, updates on it so if I say sudo dnf updates yes so let's see and then so I thought I already did this so you just run some updates and then we'll we can begin the then installation um, so some few additional packages needs to be installed okay so why that run all right i'm, I'm going to be using um, this terminal this is my security so i think this gives me a better view of the of the server now for you to set up um uh, mini cube there are some steps that we need to go through so let me bring up uh, pop up this browser so if we go to kubernetes um, kubernetes.io there's a guide there that clearly explain what you should do to set up um, mini cube for CentOS so if we go to the documentation and you go to get it started a learning environment yeah so we need to install kubectl you know what kubectl is right that's the tool that allows us to send and receive commands uh, to the cluster so depends on the laptop you're using in this case like i said this is for centos 8 so i think it should work for all linux distro uh, with what they shown here so i'm just going to click uh, kubectl so what we're going to do is we're going to install kubectl and then before we install the mini queue, I think that's basically all what we need to do. So um, this, I mean, the, the step is really straightforward. So we're just going to uh, go through the steps. So in this case, to install kubectl binary using curl, then you need to, first of all, install the curl, I think. So just pop this out run and then it downloads the the binary and then the next thing it says it says to download a specific version we are not really interested in any specific version so here we can check the Python to be sure what we downloaded is correct so here we can then validate the so kubectl, as we just downloaded uh, kubectl and they are telling us that uh, what we downloaded has the right hash. So now we install kubectl. 
Um, just run kubectl install. And then, yeah. So, um, what else? It says, if you do not have root access, then go through this process. We have to root access. So, let's see the version now. Um, yeah. So, as you can see, this gives us uh, yeah, details of what we've just uh, installed. Um, so there's other ways you can install the kubectl which is using the native packet management. We don't need to do that. Verify kubectl configuration now. Uh, so yeah, let's run this command. Let's see what we get. Um, yeah, so we are not able to get anything. Let's say the error, the connection refuse, make sure we are running 8080. Um, I don't think we need to worry about this because once we have the mini cube set up and then the virtual machines or the pods uh, span up, then I don't think this error is going to go away. I think they will explain it here. They said if you see your response, could be correctly configured to assess your cluster. If you see message similar to the following, kubectl is not configured correctly or is not able to connect to Kubernetes cluster. Uh, so it says, for example, if you are intended to run Kubernetes cluster on your laptop locally, you will need to look, you will need a tool like Minikube to be able to install first and then rerun the command stated above. So we just need to forget about that error for now. And um, I don't think we need all this. So we just go down and say, okay, so the next thing is to install Minikube. So just click Minikube. Uh, so this is what I was telling you before. This is the minimal requirement for installing Minikube. Now you need a container, right? So you can either use VirtualBox or Kimo or KVM, either way. Now, if you don't specify any of this uh, virtual machine manager, then it's, I think it's just going to default to KVM. So we'll see that. So for Minikube, our installation is for Linux. So I just grab this and hit enter. I'm just going to pull that and then we install it from here. Okay, so, so Minikube tool is installed. And then uh, I think that's all we need to do. Right, so let's start Minikube. And say so Minikube. Uh, so we need to add ourselves to this uh, group, right? This libvad, I think it's like a group in charge of virtualization on your local system. And the command is, um, uh, let me grab the command here. Uh, you just you're just adding yourself to this group, which is the lib. Uh, so you're just appending your. So if we run that, then we are not going to get that error anymore. So as you can see, Minikube is started. It's automatically selected KVM. So I told you, if you don't specify the driver, then it's just going to default to KVM. So we're just going to wait for a while and allow it to run, to install. And after which we can test. And now for the test, why that is baking? For the test, uh, I found something on DigitalOcean that allows us to just uh, test uh, that we can actually uh, run uh, containers. Uh, and it is it's a deploying the test a sample app. So I'm just going to copy this. Why? So once the installation is complete, we'll test and be sure we can actually run pods or containers within this uh, Kubernetes cluster. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, pause a little bit. So I promise you I'm not touching anything. So it's just going to run through and uh, see you at the end once it's completed. Thank you. Okay, so we're back and uh, it's completed. So you should be able to see that it says done. kubectl is now configured to use Minikube cluster and uh, the default namespace is 
by default all right um if i come here and then say cube ctl gets pods uh there's no resource so uh, if you also check for services i think uh i think this is just the cube uh, kubernetes cluster itself that you're seeing here but what we can do we can just quickly uh test uh with this um uh sample deployment this is a, like a google app so i'm just going to run this command here hit enter so deployment is created so if i go back to pods now so you can see we have uh we have a container that is uh uh being created it says container creating if you wait a little bit it should say uh running and then we need to of course set up the service uh that we expose that container to your sideboard so kubectl explore expose deployment on port 8080 so you hit enter and then uh kubectl get service web um let's grab this and run so as you can see uh it tells us there's a service that is running uh, as well and then um let's get the url so the url in this case is going to be unikube service so what we just need to do is grab this and put it on the browser so i'm going to back to the virtual machine and pop up the browser come on so i'm just going to hit right and uh, no 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 so this is the wrong not the right one let's copy it again this is the url um yeah so let's see let's see yeah so as you can see we have access to that uh container so that's the end of the video i hope it was useful and uh if you're having issues installing or setting up a kubernetes cluster for a centos 8 environment and i hope i hope this was uh, really uh, helpful for you now for you to see more videos like this please uh, click on the subscribe button so that if i make new videos you see it uh it'll be the first to know thank you bye